Hello, my name is Min Tran and I work for Jabrudian Industries. We're the makers of The Missing Link, which is a wireless OSC MIDI translator. It converts um, OSC messages uh, wirelessly into MIDI, either USB or DIN MIDI. You can also convert uh, MIDI back into a wireless uh, OSC and it can also merge MIDI messages for you. Um, what I've done today is uh, on my iPad 2 and using Touch OSC, which is, is an app for um, iOS, I have uh, created a, a template in Touch OSC to control a Korg microkorg, all via the missing link. So what this allows you to do is, without using a computer anywhere in the system, you can now control a lot of the parameters, all the MIDI parameters uh, for your microkorg via an iPad wirelessly via a super stable uh, hardware platform, The Missing Link, really quick as well. One of the huge advantages of this, hopefully I'll show you via demos, is now you can modify a lot of parameters directly and quickly jump between parameters to modify and simultaneously modify parameters on your Korg microkorg that you uh, weren't previously able to do via the hardware interface, the matrix interface there. So this allows you to very quickly dial in the sound you like uh, precisely and then um, also wirelessly, so you can do this on stage and in performance, super stable without a computer in the mix. So I'll quickly demonstrate the various screens and pages I've created for this template and uh, their pr purpose, application, and benefits. So uh, first off here, I'll just uh, turn on the arpeggio and also the latch uh, for the chord microchord. And I'll just start playing something. So I'll hit a chord. Hopefully that's not too annoying here. But if I want to now, I can modify the range directly. Um, also, you know, the type uh, of arpeggio. Control the gate. And so that's just the arpeggio control. Uh, none of that is uh, immediately directly controllable via uh, the, the Korg microkorg. You have to dig into the matrix a couple steps, and those parameters are actually two separate banks, uh, so you can't even control them simultaneously on the, on the, on the knobs. Similar to here, you know, control attack, envelope, you know, the various envelope parameters for the amp and, uh, and the filter. All you'd, what you'd expect, but again, you can control these simultaneously now. Something you can't do uh, at all on the Korg microkorg. Of course, there's the two oscillator controls to change the waveforms you want to generate, and the, two, the controls related to those, the mixer to mix between um, the, the two oscillators, or the oscillators and the instruments. Finally, we have the filter, of course, control all, everything you'd expect, resonance, type of waveform, envelope gate, how intensely it controls the filter, so forth. Amplitude, the amp, distortion, panning, of course. Portamento, control. LFOs, so the intensity, the frequency, and also the shape of the LFOs. Uh, the chorus effect and the delay. Now you can control a lot of parameters simultaneously you could not previously do uh, via the microcore directly. On the second page, I've, I've mapped the virtual patches. So what this allows you to do now is uh, you, uh, uh, the powerful matrix um, of uh, a virtual patch system in the core microcore can now be controlled in a, a lot more visual fashion. You can see which source you want, which destination, and then the level that you want to affect things by. All, all, all immediately clear. neat stuff. Finally, uh, if you pick a, a vocoder patch, or you select a patch that is in the vocoder mode, I have the same similar, similar set of parameters specific to the vocoders. Also, a really cool thing with the vocoder is uh, I made the second screen here for controlling the levels independently for each of the channels of your vocoder, which has eight channels and the pans. Something you can't do simultaneously at all on the original chord microchord. Also some fun XY parameter, um, XY pads here. So there's no, obviously no XY pad for the Korg microkorg. Uh, so I decided to throw one in, pairing some parameters I thought were interesting. Of course, you can always modify this template to control the, the parameters you think are, are interesting. So here I'm controlling resonance and cutoff. So when you dial in the exact kind of a shape you want for that filter. 
I've added a delay depth and delay time. So if you want to figure out kind of like what kind of delay uh, characteristics you want, you can do that via an XY. LFO frequency 1 and 2. Kind of a fun, uh, fun to modify depending on if you got your LFOs modifying your sound extremely or not. You can control the frequency independently of both of those. And then finally, modulation effects here. Just the chorus or phase, depth, and rate for that. So you want to dial in your effects flavors. The last screen I included is kind of a performance screen. Of course, so let me turn off this, uh, let's turn off the arpeggio here. And on this screen, you can turn it on again if you want to. But now you can also play some keys directly on the iPad. Cool the cutoff. Resonance. Amplitude attack, amplitude release. Got a pitch bend here. The mod wheel. A little XY pad. And then, of course, the program change, which is also on a couple of the other screens for jumping between, uh, between patches. And also some dedicated program change buttons for jumping directly to the patch you want. So it's kind of like the performance screen. So once again, uh, what I've hopefully showed you today is, um, you know, a cool way in which the missing link now gives you new control and uh, new power over your, your old instruments, in this case, Korg Microkorg, make it more, uh, more uh, usable, more programmable, and, you know, we all have old synths in our collections, which we don't, probably don't use as much as we should, and um, via this now software controllable interface, you can customize new ways to use your synths, and hopefully that'll, uh, you know, unlock your creativity. Thanks a lot. Once again, my name is Mintran. Um, if you have any, have any questions or want to check out the missing link, it's wifi midi.com. That's W I F I M I D I.com. Thanks a lot.